This video is about Warframe. Don't forget to watch this video till the end. If you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon nearby to watch all my new upcoming videos as soon as I upload them. So, warfarin inhibits the synthesis of vitamin K dependent clotting factors from the liver, and these factors are basically clotting factor 2, 7, 9, and 10. Warfarin mainly acts by inhibiting an enzyme known as vitamin K epoxide reductase. This enzyme is helpful in the conversion of vitamin K epoxide to another form called as vitamin K hydroquinone. Vitamin K hydroquinone is in turn helpful in the conversion of inactivated forms of the vitamin K dependent clotting factors namely 2, 7, 9 and 10 to activated forms of the clotting factors 2, 7, 9, 10. And this process actually takes place with the help of an enzyme called as gamma glutamyl carboxylase. What warfarin does here is that it inhibits this enzyme vitamin K epoxide reductase and by doing so they decrease the levels of activated factors 2, 7, 9 and 10 in the blood. Pharmacokinetics of warfarin Commercial preparations of warfarin usually contain a mixture of enantiomers, namely the S form and the R form. The S form is the levorotatory enantiomer, whereas the R form is the dextrorotatory enantiomer. These are metabolized separately. The S form is metabolized by CYP2A6 system of enzymes, whereas the R form is metabolized by CYP1A and CYP3A4 system of enzymes. The S form is mainly metabolized by ring oxidation method, whereas the R form is mainly metabolized by side chain reduction method. Warfarin undergoes enterohepatic circulation and it is excreted by kidneys in the urine. Dose regulation of warfarin is very important and it's specific for specific conditions. It is done mainly by calculating the prothrombin time of the patient. And by calculating prothrombin time, Specific values, known as international normalized ratios, or abbreviated as INR values, is calculated. And the INR values are applicable only for Kumarin derivative or anticoagulants. So as I've told you, INR values are specific values for specific disease conditions. So those are the target values which are to be maintained to avoid bleeding. For example, for treatment of deep vein thrombosis uh, in the patients, while treating with uh, warfarin, the target INR of 2 to 3 is to be maintained. Now, why do we calculate INR values? It's because warfarin can cause increased bleeding as a side effect. So, specific target INR values are set for specific conditions, and these values should be maintained in the uh, target range to get the maximum uh, beneficial therapeutic effect with very less uh, bleeding as a side effect. So that's what uh, is the significance of calculating INR values. So adverse effects of warfarin. The main adverse effect of warfarin is bleeding and can range from mild ecchymosis, epistaxis which is bleeding from nose, hematuria and can also have internal GI bleeds and it can also lead to fatal intracranial bleeds. The treatment of the bleeding associated with warfarin is done by stopping the drug and giving transfusion of blood and we can give vitamin K therapy which is an antidote for warfarin. Other side effects are alopecia which is hair loss, dermatitis and it can also cause diarrhea. Now let's talk about the contraindications of warfarin. Warfarin is contraindicated in bleeding disorders because it can further worsen the bleeding condition in the patients. It is also contraindicated in severe hypertension as it can increase the risk of fatal intracranial bleeds. It should also be avoided in pregnancy because when they are given in early pregnancy they can cause fetal warfarin syndrome. In fetal warfarin syndrome there will be various manifestations in the child namely hypoplasia of the nose, eye socket, hand bones and there will also be growth retardation. It should also be avoided in late pregnancy. It should be given carefully or tried to be avoided in chronic alcoholics, cirrhosis patients and patients of renal failure where there can be increased bleeding. Let's talk about important drug interactions with warfarin. 
that there are free drugs which enhance the action of warfarin if given together and the few drugs which reduce the action of warfarin if given together. The drugs which enhance the action of warfarin if given together are broad spectrum antibiotics which do that by inhibiting the gut microflora and decreasing the vitamin K absorption from the gut and newer cephalosporins, aspirin which acts by inhibiting the platelets, indomethacin which is an NSAID, canitoin which is a drug for seizure. The drugs which reduce the action of warfarin includes barbiturates, carbamazepine, rifampin which is a drug for TB, griseofilbin which is an antifungal drug and very importantly oral contraceptive pills which causes an hypercoagulable state. Now you can watch all my new upcoming videos two days before the rest of the world. All you need to do is donate just five dollars or more per month. Visit www.patreon.com slash simple and click on the become a patron button to know what rewards you get by donating to my channel. Don't forget to check out my video on heparin pharmacology. Don't forget to like this video, comment below and share this video to your friends. Most importantly subscribe to my channel for more videos and don't forget to check out my blog. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in my next video.